Well, hi guys. Well, big welcome back to the channel as always. Well, it has been a super crazy busy week as always. Uh, but this week in particular is pretty special because it's the marriage of our overland truck. Find out how we get on. Guys, good morning. Well, it is indeed a very different morning to yesterday. We had a huge amount of rain in the night, so it's really good to get this fitted and sealed yesterday. Um, but the downside is lots more rain forecast today, and I'm not going to get the extrusions on. It's just too wet. So I'm going to focus on getting the springs and the brackets back onto the truck. Uh, we've got the new bolts, and uh, that's the plan. Hopefully, the weather won't be too bad. Okay, so this is what it's about today. It's basically getting these brackets back on. I've got these lo lovely little stainless steel Allen bolts with the washer, uh, lock nut on the back. So it's just a case of going around. Um, there's 12 of them, six out of the side, getting these on, getting them torqued up, and then getting the springs on. Believe it or not, it takes me all morning to fit the brackets, as some were incredibly difficult to access. Well, our old starter batteries give up the ghost. Uh, it's a shame really, because they were part of batteries, really good brand, uh, but clearly come to the end of their natural life. So we've stuck on these US batteries, really expensive, good quality battery. Uh, they're about 440 quid for these two. That's with 80 quid discount. So again, you know, we talk about sort of, you know, the bigger you go, the more expensive things are it's a really good example so yeah expensive day well hi guys well we're in a lovely little spot today it's bank holiday weekend so we're just like for a little stroll stretch the legs grab a bite of lunch somewhere we've got some gorgeous weather actually we have. and after yesterday oh what a day <laughs> but uh this is good today we'll take this Well, we thought we'd carry on the theme, out and about. And we're out for fish and chips. Or is he? How mm. good are they? Mm. Excellent. And just like that, it's Monday morning again, and typically it's raining. Okay, so we've got all the brackets on, on both sides, all torqued up, so really happy with that. And I've got all the springs on, on this side. I'm just sort of finishing off the last one. Uh, double knot, so you've got a normal knot and then a nylock locking nut on top of that. And I think they're looking okay, actually. I'm, I'm sort of really happy with it. Uh, it is a little bit fiddly and time consuming, but that's the way it is. I've just got the other side to, uh, to do, to complete, and um, that's it. Finally, a bit of sunshine and a small modification before the other side is complete. Next up is the dressing of the 200 litre waste or grey water tank and first up I drill out the additional access panel. Followed by the heat element, the outlet for the Valletta valve and the various other required holes. The preparation of this is key. The tank has been in and out of its cradle several times to determine where each of the inlets, outlets, sending units and valves will be before I drill anything. Some elements have a rubber seal and some require a sealant, so in this case I apply a bead of CT1. In an effort to stay legal, Richard had this used rear bumper in the yard, which will eventually get modified to lift up for off-road use and work in conjunction with the bike lift, but that's for another day. Well hi guys, well just a quick update because I haven't been filming much recently because it has been so so busy i've just been up against it, to be honest with you and it's of my own making i'm i've put myself under a bit of pressure because i've got a day and a half basically to get ready for the marriage so i've got a crane booked for monday and i'm not ready is the long and short of it uh so i've already put the crane off once i don't want to put them off again and i can't really put them off again because the truck is actually going in for paint in a week's time and I've got to get the box on the truck. Things are still yet to do. I've got to get the pass-through in, uh, which is sort of just 
sat here beside me. I've got to try and get this um, panel here fitted and sort of sorted on the outside. I can do the inside later on. I've still got the extrusions to do on the rear. Technically, I could do that next week. Um, and I've got lots and lots of other little jobs to do as well. I've still got to tidy up all the cables and airlines within the chassis because clearly once the box is on, I'm not going to have access. I've got all the extrusions to seal on the outside of the box and um, get a few little riv rivets in there. And I've got a few other little jobs inside as well to do. So, I, and that's that's really sort of by well within the next couple of days. So I'm really sort of feeling uh, a bit of pressure uh, to, to get this done. Uh, so uh, enough talking, let's go do some work. I had previously cut this infill panel to size, but it's now time to get it bonded into place. But before I clean it up, I want to get the pass-through door fitted, so I measure and mark up the aperture which aligns perfectly with the cutout on the rear of the cab. Time to get it out, bonded and back into place. After cleaning up the front, I bond an aluminium panel onto the front for extra protection. Whilst I've been busy with the box, Stephen has been welding the brackets for the auxiliary air tank which will facilitate our tire inflation system. Well, that is what happens after a week of not cleaning up. It's an absolute hazard in here, but it has been a really, really productive week. Um, so I'm not complaining. Um, but yeah, it's time to bag up some of this rubbish, clean up the tools and get up to the recycling center. Okay, so Izzy tells me she's an absolute whiz in truck theory tests. Go on then, Izzy. There you go, look, look at that, all green. Look. But that's not the real thing, that's just um, an odd It's line. a mock test. So I keep passing the mock test, but I have to do the real thing on Monday. And I'm feeling slightly anxious. This is attempt 327. <laughs> Don't tell everybody that. <laughs> it's only taken me about five weeks to get this good. I don't understand what I'm doing. I just know the answers. That's all. <laughs> uh, well, really big morning this morning. We've got the marriage of our truck and our box today. I've got the crane booked for eight o'clock. Uh, Mike's turning up. Confirmed that on Friday. Uh, so yeah, lots happening. It's. Uh, I feel a little bit anxious actually. Um, I'm not sure why because I'm pretty confident everything is has been measured is right uh, So yeah, just in case of waiting for him and then hopefully we'll get it on
We changed the way it was initially strapped as there was just too much risk of the strap slipping. We then placed a length of wood above the windows as the straps were pinching and I didn't want to run the risk of the glass popping. With the habitation box suspended, I slowly reversed the truck into place. Jim. They fit? Yeah, I think we're we're about there. I'm just doing it right, Jim. Hold on. And after much fine manoeuvring, we're there. I get the box bolted to the subframe and breathe a sigh of relief. The months of work inside and preparation is paying off, and I'm really pleased how it's coming together. But it doesn't stop there, and once the sun shines, I continue to prepare the rear end for the extrusions. Well, I'm back at it today. Yesterday was such a good day. I feel like we achieved a lot, uh, and it went really well in the end. Uh, but actually, lots more to do this week, uh, and I'm actually just trying to get the uh, extrusions on the rear. You're probably asking, why didn't you do that beforehand? Quite simply, I ran out of time. Uh, in, a, in an ideal world, it would have been on. And, you know, particularly when it was sat on the ground, it's a bit easier to access. I'm actually stood on a big trestle right now uh, because clearly it's quite high. And I'm just, I've just cut the corners and I'm just sort of shaving the corners um, because I want to refit the original style extrusion corners uh, to meet the rest of the extrusions um, just so it's, it all ties in it's all the same and it all looks right so that's what I'm doing at the moment it's going okay I've got one almost done I've had to shave off the corner profile as well um, because there's a little curve on the uh, on the extrusion um, and then I think we'll, we'll do all the prep the weather is changing it's gonna be incredibly wet tomorrow uh, in fact later on today as well so I'm trying to get this done today clearly this has to be done before it goes in, uh, to the paint shop um, and I want to try and uh, give myself enough time so it's so it's right uh, and it, it looks right so come on then let's do some more well annoyingly the weather's come in and uh, I think it's going to stop play actually so I haven't got the extrusions on yet I've made good progress but I still need about two hours to get these on properly and uh, yeah time to go and do something else well guys good morning well we did actually get a window of opportunity yesterday we had a bit of noir when it stopped raining we got everything dried off the guys in the yard actually give me a hand just to get this finished off because otherwise I would have run out of time and sure enough 
as soon as we finished, it started raining and it's been raining ever since. It's going to rain all day today. So the guy's been really sort of kind, they made a bit of space uh, inside. So we're going to take it inside and get a few, well, lots of little jobs done, hopefully, um, over the next couple of hours. Because again, as always, I'm running out of time. <clears throat> I've got two days uh, basically to get it ready for paint and there's a lot to do. So first job this morning, you can see the corner caps behind me. So we didn't manage to get those on yesterday. So they've got to get mucked in, uh, a little rivet in there. And uh, I think that's the first job of the morning. Well, the one week that I really needed it to be dry because there's still lots to do before we let for paint was this week and it's absolutely bloody pissing down. There's just been no let up in the weather whatsoever. So the truck is in the workshop and the guys uh, have really kindly put a bit of time to one side to give me a helping hand because there's certain things that have to happen before it goes in for paint, obviously. Um, so uh, yeah, all hands to the deck. Whilst the roof dries off, I make a start on fitting the side service access panel. This sits onto my seat and will give access to the plumbing setup. Yep, hands up, I do like a lot of sealant adhesive. This has to be both solid and weathertight. I tidy the bonded finish and re-drill the holes ready for a few rivets. Well, it's been a hive of activity this morning. Um, truck is inside because it's been pouring down all morning um, and the guys have given me a, a real sort of big hand actually. So I've been up on the roof uh, doing the uh, rear extrusions, doing the caps and uh, just getting that weather tight, getting it riveted and down along the sides, that's good, it's all finished. So we're sort of weather tight and that feels really good. I've been cutting out the hole for the sort of side access. Uh, Feel the little bits and pieces and the guys have been sort of sticking on the platform along with the frame for the tool bins. We've got one of the tool bins in and I've actually resided the batteries as well. So that feels really good to get that done. Uh, still lots and lots more jobs to do. Uh, we've got some aluminium trim, two inch aluminium trim on the inside of the box to go in yet. Uh, I'm not even going to go through the list because there's so much to do. So right now, I think we're ready for a cup of tea. This is the service door from the outside and apart from the roof light, thankfully, it's the last of the outbound doors to be fitted because I'm done with fiberglass. screws which are in excellent order and uh, I think there's plenty here so enough for the next job. I asked Richard and Stephen to fit the 50 millimeter aluminium corner trim for extra strength and rigidity whilst I get on with another job. Always nerve-wracking cutting holes in your roof but 
it's got to be done. It's the last window from outbound. Um, that's going to be pretty feel really good to get this in. It feels really good to get that in, but there's still time to do a few last jobs. Okay, so this is the start of our rear toolboxes here. So we've got a template just here and the sheet materials right underneath. So looking forward to seeing them come together. Well, big day today. I've just picked the truck up and we're going to prepare. It's a bit noisy because there's nothing in here yet, so that's going to get covered up. So uh, if it's noisier than usual, that's why. So I'm just taking it easy at the moment. Izzy's behind me in the car, and I'm just watching how it's performing. That looks all right, actually. Okay, so that's it dropped off. We're actually out at Easter Commercials, just outside Norwich, and we've done the walk around with Anthony. He's a good guy, and he gets what we're after. So two weeks time, we'll pick it up, and hopefully, oh, someone's just hit our car. Can't believe someone has just hit our car, literally. Okay, so I'm in the car. Okay, we're in our damaged car. <laughs> because somebody did actually reverse into Izzy while she was sat stationary, which was really frustrating because the whole sort of back corner, if you like, in terms of the bumper, it is just a bumper, so it was a slow speed hit. There's a guy basically reversing out in a Mitsubishi 4x4. Didn't see the car for some reason and um, hit the bumper so but he's a pretty good guy he just said look don't worry about it i'll order you a bumper today i'll fix it and um you know that's it so uh that's what we're gonna do but i'm sure he was looking at the car and thinking it's a heap why yeah. does it matter <laughs> yeah but it you know it is dented so uh anyway one of these things so yeah anyway as we was saying truck is dropped off and we're really sort of looking forward to one having a little break from work mm -hmm. but that's not strictly true because all the tool bins still need fabricated and you've got um, loads of rubbish to sort I've out i've got the rest of the box to chop up and try and get rid of and uh yeah there's there's lots of little jobs that need doing we've got to update our so, plans a little bit now we've got exact measurements yeah. oh and i've got to catch up on youtube as well so, and uh, do loads of work in the garden. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty it much everything, really. It never ends. So, anyway, enough waffling. Just drive. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so whilst the truck's in for paint, this is my little job to cut this up and try and get rid of it. Um, the back of the box is reinforced with aluminium, so it's exceptionally heavy. Not just the extrusions, but the whole back wall is has six millimeter aluminium, and it's it's an absolute chore to cut um, because of that back door. Clearly, there's that structural element, but um, trying to get rid of this is obviously going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, I'm just scoping out a couple of people at the moment with uh, a permit or a license to get rid of this sort of waste. So basically, a guy with the van who turns up, you know, you give him. I don't know, 200 quid, and he takes it away. 
and this is the point where I'm really pleased that I haven't got a box that you know is double the size and then I'm having to get rid of this and that was always sort of on my mind so I will keep you posted with regards to how you get rid of this and uh, it might just be a case of sort of just getting rid of bits and pieces as and when well, it's so hot up here. But listen, guys, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for all the help, all the support, all the comments. And I'm so far behind in responding to everyone's comments. But I will respond. But for now, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.